Hi, welcome to my home studio. I'm artist Pamela Hamilton. Today I'm going to paint a portrait of a super cute dog named Sherman. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Portrait of this dog. I like to work at a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm working on Clairefontaine pastel matte paper. One of the things that I like to do is to put my reference photo, this is why I like to work at a roughly the same size, and I'll tape it slightly over the top. So kind of check the position, and I can tell that my eyes, the eyes are just a little bit too low, so I'm going to uh, kind of re, this is the part that I'll be the most detailed with um, at this early stage. going to um, kind of rough in and block in my shapes using uh, this selection of pan pastels. You can see it's pretty much pretty much the same color as the paper.
One of the things I like about pan pastels is they are erasable. You have a kneaded eraser, you can just remove this piece off the ear just a little bit too low. I'm gonna use a regular ruler. I'm gonna measure the distance between the eyes to make sure that I'm accurate. Probably go over with the nose a little bit. I like the fine charcoal. Uh, it's very soft. It's very easy to smudge. You don't have to finalize them. You have to make sure that they are the right size, the right position, the right angle. I use a pastel pencil. And then go back to the charcoal. If you see against the white of my paper, it's uh, relatively mauve, um, a very um, dulled down pinkish gray. Um, and that's what I'm using for the white of the eye because against all this dark, it's, it's about the right color. I have a light blue. That's because that's the more shadowed side of the face. Okay, I'm gonna add a little glint in the eye. This will probably get redone again later in the portrait. All right, I'm gonna start using my, uh, my stick pastels. I'm using them on the side. taking my finger to pull the brown pastel down into the rest of the fur. Right. Go back into the nose. Back with the vine charcoal. Tap it into the paper. Go in here and kind of put the highlight under the nose here. It's a mix of 
mauve and blue. I can see both in there and there's, put a little blue in there. Got a dark gray Stabilo Carb Othello pencil. The number is 1400 slash 726. Just gonna put a little bit of this highlight in the fur next to the nose. Again, many, many newer artists, newer pastel artists would grab white because they'd say, oh, those are white hairs. Well, in reality, they probably are, but they're not white here. I have to find exactly where the top of that mouth is. It's about right here. Notice how dark and bright this blue is against the white, but when I apply it to this part of the fur, it looks very light. 
That's called simultaneous contrast. The contrast to dark to light. Right, we're at the final stages. Bring a little blue in to these, the white part of his fur. good. A lot of back and forth. This is a Giro pastel. They're um, kind of medium. They're not uh, as soft as some, but they're they're harder than, say, a Sennelier or a Great American. So I feel like I have a little bit more control when adding highlights.
gonna bring just a little bit of this purple that I used in here into just a few areas up in here just so that it's not just the paper showing. And I can um, allow then the, uh, the actual dog and the background to touch each other. I think in here I'm going to leave the paper down in here and a little of this color. Down in here and then I'm going to look for a color that's pretty much the same as the background. This one's pretty good. Just a little bit of uh, variation. single hairs down into the background. <laughs> 